Well, we're in our 2015 4x4 Terrastar Custom Super Truck. Um, we're going to go through the inside of this thing first. Probably what I want to show you, the most important thing about this, is these door panels that we're looking at over here, they're not internationals. They're made by Super Truck. They're custom molded, vacuum molded, custom pieces. And we're going to step above on this particular one. It's all leather with white French stitching. The armrest, two panels, and custom speaker pods. This is using all Focal top of the line carbon fiber speaker system. So we'll um, we'll come around and see these a little bit more in the back. And the other thing is now that we can see the backs of these seats, and most of your seats that you see in trucks and cars, the uh, when you get a factory leather system, you're getting leather where you sit only. With these seats. These are custom Italian leather seats. The full backs, the armrest, all the stitching, the skirting is all Italian leather. So front, back, headrest, everything is leather. This particular customer wanted a dark black with white stitch, and that's what he got. That's what we do. So now we've got this rear bench here. It's a fully electric convertible bed. It has four seat belts, so four adults can sit in the back seat. And um, once they get in the back seat, take a ride. Also, with a push of a button, it's in front of the camera, which you can't see right now, which I'll show you when I go around, is with a push of a button, it lays flat into a full-size bed where two people could sleep in here with absolutely no problem. Then what we've done also on this truck is from the factory, this truck is all gray and silver inside. So the entire headliner has to come down, a fully padded black headliner. All the padding in the back has been recarpeted to black. It also came with a rubber floor. It's got all top of the line carpet throughout and floor mats. Custom built center console in between the two front captain's chairs, which has an AC power inverter for seven watts. It's got two plugs, it's got a 12 volt hookup. Now, the one thing you want to remember with this thing is you'll see there's a piece of tape here on the power switch. This unit, you don't want to turn it on and leave it on because it will kill the battery over a period of time, probably four to six hours. We also base it up and bring it up for these trucks. It's very solid. It has four cup holders, a bunch of storage area in the middle, which is a fully stainless steel locking key instead of plastic. Then sitting on the ground here, this is the wench cable. This truck has a uh, 15,000 pound wench also, which we'll get around to when we get on the outside. It's storing here for transportation. Um, it's also got this bad boy 17 inch flip down. Push the button in between the two dome lights, pull it down, and when the truck started, you operate it. All the manuals will be inside this center console here. For every piece of equipment in here and the truck, the transmission, the axles, service information, as well as us giving three services for spare parts with this truck. Um, the dome lights go on with the doors, but also if you're inside and the doors are closed, they simply push up and push down and they'll be manually operated. This has two inputs, it's fully independent or it can run off the main head unit slave which is up front and we'll probably have a technician in the next round go through this head unit for you but again there's manuals um, very simple there's dvds to learn how to use this stuff so now i'm going to get out and we're going to go around to the front and i'll show you all the controls in the front Again, all the custom door panels, lock and unlock, both sets of power windows, manual and electric locks, and a window lock in case you don't want anyone else to offer the windows without, um, without your consent. It's got fully electric and heated mirrors. There's a rocker switch here on your armrest for the left side, middles for nothing, rights to the right side, and then a joystick which with your mirror. The convex mirrors on the very bottom, you notice there's a two mirror system on these outside of these doors, which we'll get back to again. The convex is fully manual. You'll have to operate that on your own. 
the large rectangular mirror is fully electric and heated. I'm going to climb up in here. Now the seats are full air ride. And I don't know if the camera can get down here and see this switch. But this is a pump. It pumps the seat up with the key on. And it pushes it down to let the seat down. Then there's a heating switch. It's got high and low heat. In the middle it's nothing. On the low it's high. And the top it's low. You keep it in the middle unless you want a hot butt. The ignition key is very simple to see. It's one key. There'll be a key fob also to lock and unlock and activate the alarm. But you'll turn the key on just like any diesel. Okay, you'll wait for the glow light to be out. That one, it's a corkscrew looking wire. When it goes out, then you can turn the key and energize this truck. Cruise control. Off, on, resume, accelerate is on your steering wheel for easy access. Very simple to figure out. On the left side of the steering wheel, on the column, there's actually a manual lever. These steering wheels do not operate electrically due to the fact they have a major spline because it's a heavy duty truck. But it pulls out, it pulls in, it goes down, it goes up, it can get anywhere you want it to be. So it's four way operating. All the gauges are here. They're very uh, standard. There's one gauge in this instrument cluster that says air pressure. This truck is equipped with a super truck rear air ride system. Gives you better hauling, automatic leveling system. Has a dump valve to dump it if you wish. But this system will not operate less than 90 PSI. So what I'm trying to tell you is if this truck sits for a long period of time, 30 days, 60 days, there's a lot of hoses, rubber gaskets, uh, the airbags, they leak air five to 10 pounds every 24 hours they leak, so that's very normal. So when you start the truck up, you might have to let it sit for a minute to watch your air pressure go to 90 pounds. It tops out at 120 pounds, and it has an automatic dryer and bleeder, so you'll hear it spit for a second when the compressor turns off. What this does, you've got a stainless steel five gallon air tank, which is your holding tank for the air, and um, it eliminates all condensation from gathering in the tank and getting water into your system. And you've got your unit here, which we're gonna have a tech go over with you, and then you have your standard AC and heat controls. They're all very self-explanatory. Blue is cold, red is hot. Fan has tons of different switches. It's from soft to blow dry your hair. Awesome. Then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see the shifter here. And the shifter is like most vehicles, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you can limit yourself to four gears, two gears, or one gear. Now this is a six-speed double overdrive Allison transmission. There is also one more button on here that I want you to see. If you're pulling a heavy load, in this truck more than 10,000 pounds are five tons. And what it will do is like a tow mode and it eliminates six gear. And it'll say right here, disable six. And I'll turn the key on so you can see it light up. When it's lit up, you only have five gears and that's for towing only. When it's unlit, you have six gears for your best fuel economy and when you're not towing heavy loads. Also, you got your fog lights. Those are your lights in your front bumper. And uh, you got your panel switch over here, your regular lights, your mirror, your lamp. We'll come over on this side and show that to you. But everything is labeled very good in this truck. Now, when you are towing, some trailers require an electric brake system. This helps stop the trailer so it doesn't prematurely wear out the brakes in your truck. And it's a safety reason. This is the brake controller right here. Once it's on, okay, and again, I'm going to turn this key on and listen to this thing beep. But it'll go through its diagnostics test. And then when you hit it and there's a brake hooked up, it'll have a number here. If you feel you need more brake, okay, if you feel you need more brake, you push the arrow button up and it'll raise the number to give you more brake. If you need less, you hit the arrow down as you can see, 
and most require about a 2.2 to a 3. That's for most trailers. Now, we're going to go over this thing and drive it, but you've got all these controls over here, okay? This truck is also equipped with an exhaust brake. So, this here, EXH brake, means exhaust brake. Now, what is that? Well, when you're pulling a heavy load also, and you don't want to use the brakes a lot, you can turn this on, and it'll have a green light also, and the engine will actually brake without hitting the brakes in the truck. Awesome feature when you have a load. Okay, you have a light bar on this. We have strobe lights. We have a drain valve for the fill. And um, inhibit regen. This truck is being transported to another country. So this button does nothing. This is for North America only. Same with the parked regen. This truck will never regen because it no longer has emissions. Now, this one here that says XFER high, XFER low. Okay, that actually means your transfer case. This is how you get 4x4. Four four. So normally, your transfer case is always going to run in high, in or out of 4x4. Four four. And that's a one-to-one, -one. so every time your drive shaft spins, you get one spin to your rear axle. When you're in low, when you're out in the sand dunes, or stuck in serious mud or something, or in uh, bad weather conditions, you'll push this to low. When you're switching from high to low, you must be in neutral on the shifter and stopped. It's very important, otherwise it will not shift. Now, when you're in low, you have a ratio of two to one. So the drive shaft spins two times for every one time your rear axle spins. What this does is two things. It slows down your truck and it creates twice the torque in your drive power which if you've had a four-wheel drive, you probably understand what I'm saying and you're on fast forward. So we're gonna put this back to high. Now, the transfer case works, like I said, in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive applications. Now, when you wish to actually do the front axle and lock up the transfer case, this is your front axle. It's fully electric. Again, you will have to be in park or neutral for this one. To turn your front axle in and lock up your transfer case. Now you have both axles working. So once you have your transfer case and your front axle locked up and you have both axles working, it still doesn't mean all four tires are spinning. But because this is a true 4x4, to get both axles spinning you have a no spin rear end and up front you have what we call locking hubs. So if you do wish to use that 4x4 and you're going to lock that axle up, you'll also have to lock your front hubs, which we'll get to next. But they're worn locking hubs. They say free and they say lock. So when you're driving in normal street modes, you'll have them on free. And when you want 4x4, you will put them in lock. And then this baby will be one bad boy 4x4. So that pretty much goes to all the switches here. Also, you have a small little 12 volt duber here. If you got, for some reason, you want 12 volts, you've got your cigarette lighter. You have an auxiliary 12 volt hookup, as well as you have one in the back also. You have a USB port and a microphone port. Both the microphone port and the USB port do tie in to your head unit if you want to use your iPhone, your iPad, play movies. Um, any type of uh, electronic instrument. The USB port also will charge your electronic instrument. The microphone cord will not charge, it's only an external feed. Then we get up to the top here. Again, you got a dome light that with the doors closed works on or off. You have map lights for both sides. Whoops, that worked out good, didn't it? <laughs> And you have another map light, which I got to fix this one now. Then if we get the camera over here, this is equipped with Bluetooth. So there's your Bluetooth microphone where my finger is. And this is storage, or CB, and it is CB prepped. 
So if in your country you need a CB, it's already wired and prepped for a CB radio. Up here we use storage. We have storage here, sun visor, and another sunshade. And I don't even know what this sunshade's for. I believe if you pull this one out and slide it to the side, this one will go down and you get a double whammy. I've never used it, but it's there. Got a little cord here for holding your goodies. You also got a mirror. It's not lit. I'm sorry. They just don't do them. The other side, you just have a visor. We got nice little Focal speakers up here, both sides. You've got Focal speakers in your doors, components, and you got Focal speakers in the back door. So there's three sets of Focal speakers. Um, this particular head unit, it's a Pioneer. It's a matrix mix system. It's set up for working anywhere in the world. So it's got AM, FM, CD, DVD, all those things. But the navigation that goes in this has to be programmed in for each different country, or you could use your electronic device and run your navigation through the screen. It's your call. Um, Again, I'll have the technicians go through you on this. Again, more cup holders. Every truck comes with spare paint. This will be put in your truck inside of here. And last but not least, some people like using parking brakes. This does have a parking brake. Um, if you're on a steep hill, you got a big trailer, you might want to use it. I don't use it unless I'm on those. It's not necessary. Now, again, this entire truck was gray and silver inside. Everything has been wrapped and stitched, or color dyed, or painted. It came out extremely well. Um, I think this customer will be very happy when he gets it. Um, that's pretty much it for the inside until we get the technician showing you how to use the radio. And again, most everything here is labeled. Touch all the buttons. Do whatever you want to do. You can't hurt anything. Just remember one thing, when you go to your 4x4, you're parked or you're in neutral. Nothing else you can hurt in this whole truck. It's a monster. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you for part two.